how many people are tired of hearing about Imus? Uh huh. Some people are like, who's Imus? Um, it's interesting because in the last few weeks, Imus has become the poster child of the existing white person within media who is racist. And the reality is that why, in my opinion, Imus was so, there was too much time spent on him because Imus was not the issue, even though Imus was the issue. Stay with me there. Imus was not the issue, even though Imus was the issue, because Imus was such a small piece of one radio host who said something that was inappropriate and many people thought was racist, but we did not deal and continue to not deal with the fact that in America, people are racist. Right? Even in the church. And so we say all the time that Sunday is the most segregated day of the week and in so many places it's the only time where black folks and white folks and Asian folks and Latino folks don't deal with any other folks. But then many of us here are very progressive. We have multi-ethnic denominations where black and white and Asian and Latino and red and polka dot and blue and yellow all come and worship together and we don't even think about race because we just love Jesus. And Jesus wouldn't see our color. Jesus wouldn't see our ethnicity. Jesus wouldn't care what color we are. But the reality is we become like those people uh, who excuse race and ethnicity in the name of the box that we put people in. You know those people, they're racist, but they love Michael Jordan. Because Michael Jordan really isn't black. He's just a great basketball player.